morning. Um, I haven't done a vlog in like 80 million years. I'm at a stoplight, so don't get heated and start coming for me. <laughs> Just kidding, it's a really long light. I'm on my way to Pilates. Um, and I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to start seeing um, more vlog style content and you said yes and you know I haven't done one in years I don't think I did one even when I was pregnant maybe I did um, so it's been easy like three years so look palm tree that's Miami light has not changed um, yeah so I'll show you a little bit of what I do with my Pilates instructor I see her once a week usually Although she's going to be moving to Nicaragua. That's kind of a drag, but I'm really happy for her. So, um, yeah, she kicks my you-know-what every single week. Um, and that's the only workout I do besides total body transformation. I know you're going to be like, well, I thought you only did your own. No, I do Pilates because I taught Pilates for a million years. And um, it feels really good to be on a Pilates reformer. And she has, like, full studios. So we do reformer. We do the barrel. We do some Cadillac stuff, um, and it's really good. So I'll take you along for it. you curl your tail under. Bring the bar, sit back, sit back, sit back. Mm -hmm. Arms straight, not too high. And then come up. One more, go back. Yep, chin to your chest, Tracy. Hold, yep. Bring it down to your knees. Bring the bar forward. <laughs> now curl your tail under, curl it under. Mm -hmm. One more. <laughs> oh, so hard. <laughs> yeah. Take it back further. Yeah. That's it. Chin to your chest. Press down. Oh, out. Curl your tail under. Curl it under. Curl it under. Woo. All right. That one brings the heat. Jeez Louise. Well, that was a serious butt whooping there. Um, so I'm back. I just played with the baby a little bit. She's so cute. Poor thing has a cold right now. I feel so bad for her. So I think I'm going to make a little iced coffee. Sometimes I do hot coffee, but I'm going to make a little iced coffee because I just feel like it. And, you know, and then I have to dive into some work. So let's do this. Okay. Let's see if I can do this without spilling all over the place. But I mean, iced coffee, duh, right? Honey. Of course I spilled a little. Cleanliness is everything. 
this is the oat milk that I love. Um, it is uh, Khalifa Farms, the barista blend. Um, there's no um, carrageenan, there's no gums, there's nothing like that, and um, there's no sugar in the ingredients. Um, I've asked actually why it has three grams of sugar, and they say it's just like, you know, the way that the oats are processed. I don't know if that's true. I always question things, but it's really, really good. And I've tried like a bajillion other nut milks and what have you, and nothing tastes as good to me. I've been like, addicted to this forever and then I do four no more don't give me any more I'll cut you just kidding um drops of liquid organic stevia yeah to me that's like perfect sweetness and then it's not like sticky sweet this might be a little bit lighter than I would make like a regular coffee a hot coffee but I mean this is really good this is really really good okay now we can start working that was not that much work but I felt like it was really really fast so I have a big productivity hack for you um, you know I used to find that before on days where I didn't have a lot of appointments which now my life is like that because all of my business is online which I'm super super grateful for so I find that I have a lot of free time and in the past that kind of lack of structure would make me feel like I was just sitting there on my computer and kind of just like checking email and like, you know, checking social media and like not really being productive. So now what I do is I just work super, super efficiently. I know I've spoken about this before in other videos, but um, I like using the Pomodoro method, the Pomodoro method, not just because it's Italian, um, but I love it because um, it's just 25 minutes of focused work. So especially when I have stuff that I might not really wanna do, I'll do um, you know a, a cycle or two of the Pomodoro. So it's like 25 minutes with a five minute break. You can usually customize it. It's just a free app that you can get on your computer, but it makes a huge, huge difference for me to just be pro productive productive, can't even speak anymore, but to be productive. So I probably just sat down and did about an hour of work, but I just tackled pretty much everything. I've got one more nugget to do, but I need to run downstairs and just squeeze my little baby girl because I miss her and I know she's going to take her little nappy soon. So I want to go hug her, give her some snuggles, maybe make myself something to eat, and then back at it with the one last thing I need to do and then more. Can you show me yoga? No, no cuidado with that. Book. Uh, yeah, that's a book. How do you do yoga? Can you show me yoga? Whoa. So I'm making lunch, or I made lunch, not making, made lunch. And this is a mung bean pasta that you can get from Whole Foods. Um, I had some artichoke hearts that are in the glass jar, um, some olive oil, salt, obviously use the pasta water with a little bit of pesto, kind of just mixed it all up. And then I had some really, really good olive oil. I think I said olive oil twice, but because um, that was the last thing that I put on it. It's like super flavorful, so I just need teeny bit, teeny weeny weeny bit of it. And that's lunch, a little bowl of pasta, which normally I don't eat pasta for lunch in case you're like, wouldn't that make you sleepy? Because it totally will. Um, but I only have like an hour left of stuff to do. My baby is, is down for her nap now. Doesn't mean she's sleeping, but she's in her room. So, you know, I didn't really have any <laughs> left in the house so I had to make do with what I had so that's what we did it's healthy like in a perfect world if I was going to make this for dinner which would be my ultimate I would add um, some parsley definitely either some arugula or spinach just to up the greens in it but you know you got to do what you got to do hmm it's actually really good. I'm going to add a little bit more salt because I like things a little bit salty. 
probably overdid it with the red pepper, but I mean, it's better than nothing, right? <laughs> it's pouring out. Like when I say pouring, I mean it is crazy, crazy rain, but I want to fix my hair in like five seconds. So I'm going to show you how I do it. So come with me. I'm going to turn you around here. Okay, so this is my hair. It's, you know, it's not terribly dirty. I've definitely had dirtier hair in my life. So it doesn't look bad, but I can tell that the roots are just a little, a little greasy. So I just do a little bit of dry shampoo, kind of like at my roots. I used to hate dry shampoo, but now I like it. I guess I became a mom. So yeah, now I kind of like it. So I just kind of get it in, no real rhyme or reason just in the spots that tend to get a little grisé. And then, and this is key, you gotta massage it in. A lot of times people don't do this, and that is a no-no. So get it in there, get it into the roots so that it's actually doing its job. I remember I watched a video. Everything I need to learn in my life, I've learned on YouTube, I swear. Um, and this hairdresser said to do that. And I started doing it, and you know what? Lo and behold, he was right. Uh, oops, I forgot my brush, so hang on. And then I like to just brush only my ends. So underneath is where my hair gets a little tangly. So I just get the little knots from underneath. My hair smells delicious too from that dry shampoo. It's a very nice smelling one. Okay, so I just kind of comb out those knots there. Um, doesn't look so bad. So then I want to just do a little bit of this cream. Um, I like this, I've been using it for a while. I'm sorry about lighting, it's kind of terrible. It's rainy and I'm on a different camera, so. This is what I got for you today. This is real life and I can't get this out, okay. So like a pea, a little pea size of that. I'm gonna take off my ring, I hate when I get creams in my engagement ring. Okay, and I just very lightly on the top and on my ends. It's, you know, I'm really working more on the places that just tend to get a little frizzy. So it's weird, my hair is very odd. It's like, because I live in Miami, it gets frizzy, because it's Miami, it's 100% humidity here. Um, but I don't wanna like mess with it too much, so I'm just kind of giving it a little bit of a give, like it's dry, blinkies here. Yeah, get that out. Um, so I'm just, you know, kind of playing with it a little bit, and then smoothing where it needs. Okay, and then, I just finished with a little bit of hairspray. Here's a, a really hot tip too. Um, I stopped using any kind of elastics, even like a silk scrunchie like this at night uh, when I'm sleeping and I find that my hair ends up looking better. This looks bad. I find that my hair ends up looking better, which is nice. Yeah, I mean, good enough, it's a rainy day, but like, Presentable, right? She's presentable now. So I just went by the window to show you um, in better light because my bathroom is, you know, it's hard to get good bathroom lighting. So that's it, you know, pretty, it's pretty easy. It, I washed it two days ago. So probably starting tomorrow, maybe I'll be able to wear it down. I might have to refresh it with my um, air wrap um definitely might need a little bit more dry shampoo uh and then if i can go another day or two and you know what happens uh then it's the slick look of just wearing it up for a day or two but that's basically how i just as a busy mom make my hair look decent really quick uh without actually doing it all right i didn't make my bed and it's like 3 30 or something so let's make the bed I feel so much better when my bed is made. I don't know if you're anything like me, but it's like, especially since having the baby, I've told my husband like, what I need to just feel like I'm complete in life is a workout in the morning and I need the bed made. <laughs> like, even if it does happen later in the day, I cannot get into an unmade bed. It just, to me, it just feels like dirty, even though obviously it's not, but it just feels like I don't have my life together. But when you make your bed, it's like, I got my life together, right?
it's this one. Do you see one that looks like this? Oh, I do. Which one is pink? Do you see a pink one? Uh. No, you try. I think it might be somewhere around here. Pink. all by yourself. Whoa, oh, you had it. You had it. Where does the number three go? Ooh, that's a cool one. You got it on the first try. You had it. Which one looks just like that? Where do you see the yellow with the flowers? I totally knew that was gonna happen. So now it's like 9.30 and I watched an episode of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, which is riveting this season. Uh, we all had dinner as a family, played with the baby, baby went to bed, you know, had that like hour, that like one hour and that's it. <laughs> so, and that was my day today, just a normal day, nothing really special, but just kind of um, navigating life between, you know, momming and spending time with my baby and running my business. And then, you know, that's pretty much it. So I love you. I hope uh, you enjoyed this. Let me know what you want to see next. If you like this kind of content, um, obviously I can try to do it on days when I have like more going on, but I was like, you know what? You guys keep asking for it on Instagram, so I'm gonna give you what you want. Anyway, love you and uh, good night. <laughs>